Hello everybody, I am the Linkzilla, and welcome back to LEGO Jurassic World. Now, when we last left off, Dr. Sattler took a dive through a pound of a mountain of dino shit, and we basically, um... <laughs> I don't think I'll ever get past that, really. But here we are, on Isla Nublar. I'm guessing that this is basically part of the open world experience. Basically, like, you travel all over the island, and that's how you get to the levels. The level with Dr. Sattler must be back that way, so let's go, Ian. Wait a second, Ian, did, do you have a flare? Why do you have a flare? Am I supposed to have a flare? Looks like I have a shovel and a raptor claw, so I guess, like, whatever weapon that you have determines your ability. Hey, there's a gold brick in, up there. Uh. Can I get up there? Who the hell are you? You're that lady from the dig site. What are you doing here? And why are you immortal? Dig site volunteer? Okay. When am I ever going to come back here? <laughs> well, might as well let the tour move on. Come on, Ian. That's another thing about, like, the movie compared to the novel, because, like, oh, you can't steer it, it has to follow the track. <laughs> it's that Grant and Malcolm weren't exactly rivals in the novel, like they were in the movie. They actually had some meaningful conversations. What's going on here? Find another way around. There's been a rock slide. Although, I guess you can see that. Wow. This park would require a lot of maintenance now that I think about it, considering, like, how... How many people you would need, how many natural disasters will occur on a regular basis. Rock climbing wall. And I can't climb it. Oh well. Sorry. You ain't getting through here anytime soon. Let's see what's in here. Wait a second. Why the hell is this gate open? The dinosaurs can get out. Who said climbing the street a pet but I fell and well this happened. Come on, coming down already. <sighs> Only because I'm a nice guy. Well, thank you. Here, let me return the favor. You can use this to bring dinosaurs into the paddock, which what? is particularly handy if there's a wall you need to smash through. But uh, don't tell the construction guys I told you that. Worker in peril, huh? I guess this is like the Stan Lee in peril from the Marvel superhero game. <coughs> Triceratops. <laughs> All right, Trike, let's do it. Oh, can we break these? Oh, looks like they require Dilophosaurs. Charge! Oh, it's raining. Oh, it's Dilophosaurs up ahead. Ah, they won't go in because the, they're afraid of the, the Dilophosaurus. Someone help! They've got me cornered! Somebody! Anybody! Charge! Over already. How disappointing. Hey. <laughs> Come on, you two. They might actually get me from a distance. And done. Ooh, there's something over there. Thanks. Here, come on up. Well, that's why they are the spitters. <laughs> oh, it's a dark hole. But Malcolm has a flare. Bye, Trike. Thanks. Ooh, red brick. 
I'm pretty sure the red bricks are how you, like, buy, uh, bonuses. Or cheats. <laughs> Time to start digging. That is just the ticket. Hold on a sec. Now this one actually makes sense. Rock zero, Gary one. His name's one Gary. <laughs> You're right in there, kids. Gennaro, where's Tim? Timmy! Timmy! Huh, unusual weather we're having, ain't it? Why's the music get all dramatic? Whoa, that was quite a jump there, Malcolm. Alright, let's get on with it. And the car left without us. Get in the... Well... Here we are. This is going to be good. Because we all know what's about to happen. Hey guy in the pink shirt, I'm going to call you Ed Regis. <laughs> I bet you didn't know this. I bet I did. Tyrannosaurus is able to bite with a, with a force of over 12.8 thousand pounds. Yep. 5,000 pounds per square inch. Oh, uh, I uh, finished debugging the phones. Uh... But the uh, system's gonna be uh, compiling for uh, 18 to 20 minutes, so some of the minor systems, they might go on and off for a while. Anybody want a soda or something? <laughs> Wish I had a level arc where I could play as Nedry during, during oh, the heist. <laughs> fences are failing all over the park. Security systems are shutting down. Find Nedry. Check the vending machines. Phones are out too. Here it Access comes. Main program grid. Uh-uh. You didn't say the magic word. <laughs> I wonder if perhaps you would be good enough to be like my match. Uh, uh, uh. Sure. I'm going with him. Here we go, kids. Hey, what did I touch? <clears throat> uh, we didn't touch anything. We stopped. Hmm? Hmm. You feel like... No night vision goggles? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I gotta admit, that's actually pretty scary. Good job, Lego. Oh, where does he think he's going? Where does he think he's going? When you gotta go, you gotta go. Do the roar. Supposed to be more dramatic than that. I don't like the fact that they have the music going though. Like, what's so great about this scene in the movie is that it's almost. there is no music. The visuals speak for themselves. Hey! Oh. You know, at times like that. At like this, one thinks that, well. Maybe extinct animals should be left extinct. Are you feeling that right now? I am. Uh, do you have any suggestions on what we do now? I can't think of a thing. Malcolm twisted his handle, kicked open the door, and ran. <laughs> That's another line from the novel. I am chock full of them. I basically, like, uh, listen to the audiobook of the novel about three times a year. 
Gennaro, we want to hide with you. Who can open this? I can't tell. Do I have anybody? Well, no. Right, what do we do? We're digging something up here. Bones. It's a goat. Ah, I must have left us a gift. <clears throat> Alright, we gotta do something. We gotta save Lex and Tim. But I'm not convinced that this game actually has a time limit on this because, let's face it, LEGO is a consequence-free game. Tracking. Ah, uh, but Grant can't track. We'd need Muldoon or Jerry. Dino Dung. Man, the dinosaurs are just going all over this island, aren't they? Let's try over here. Oh, look! Grant can cut through these. I am the Lord of the Harvest! Something glowy. Twisty, twisty, what's it gonna do? Ah, uh, it's gonna drain this. That seems almost too convenient that that's there, though. <clears throat> oh, looks like a distraction. Something to catch its tail? A trap? Let's see what we got. What? Really? Well, that would get me to go to sleep. Hey, hey, hey. What? What? <laughs> this game, I swear. It's cutesy and cheesy, but I love it. <laughs> I think I could just watch Rexy chew on that thing for the, like, the rest of this video. See if I can get the... Oh, sorry. Huh? Jack it up, jack, 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 jack it up. Lex. Timmy, I'll get you next. Timmy, back away. Right, how do we get Tim? What's this? Some characters, such as Lex, of course. Lego characters can scream and break glass, just like Willy from Lego Indiana Jones. Alright, deep breath. That's not supposed to happen. Malcolm? Ian freeze! Get rid of the flare! <gasps> Get rid of the flare! I like that that's how the movie went, because both Grant and Malcolm make the active e effort to try and save the kids, whereas in the novel they pretty much uh, unanimously agree that there's really nothing that they can do. They're basically paralyzed with fear. Alright, that's probably what Eddie is going to have to do in The Lost World. To me! To me! Alright, 
right, good boy. Seat's got my feet. I'll get you next. Huh? Malcolm? <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to build a wall of toilet paper. Whoa! What the? <laughs> He's pushing the tank. Wait, so th th I thought that nobody died in this game. Well, uh, Buzzsaw. Gotta have the jaws of life to get the kid out. Don't move! You can't see us if we don't move. Let's... let's choke me! Grab the wire! <laughs> I like how their characters have gotten consistently dirty. Oh, Grant, you okay there? M. M. A. Now, Lex, listen, listen. I'm right here. I'm gonna look after you, but I have to go help your brother, so why don't you stay right here and wait for me? He left us. He left us! But that's not what I'm gonna do. Okay? God, I really hope that my microphone has been... All right, we need a valve. Sorry about that. Dilophosaurus! We knocked it silly. Good job, Lex. Wait, what's that over there? It's... It's a pig! If you're hungry for a hunk of fat and juicy meat, eat my buddy Puma here because he is a treat. Come on down and dine on this tasty swine, all you have to do is get in line. He's a big pig! <laughs> I'm not really afraid of the dark, I'm afraid of what could be in the dark. That's what everybody's really afraid of. More dinosaur bones that apparently are just getting flushed away. Maybe it's kind of like that Simpsons episode where they find the dead body in the, uh, qu in the power plant's quarry pipes and whatnot. What's this? Don't worry, this should help. It's a seesaw. Dr. Grant, the Paleontological Review Board has been discussing your rather unorthodox skeletal construction methods. Quite frankly, we think you're crazy. Oh well, might as well try it. Lex, come on. Alley up! Watch how she throws a grown man. A little girl, about maybe 12, is gonna throw a grown man in his 30s. Lego, I swear. A target? Does Lex have a weapon? Oh, she has her baseball! That's something that got left out in the movie, but like in the book, she's like obsessed with baseball. Oh, that's good, I like it. Anybody want to play a little pico? Up, up. Hate climbing. Hate trees. Way too high. Man, I'm probably going to be quoting like the book and the movie. Are you hearing this?
Good girl. Come on down. You know, I bet that once we get up to the top, we're not even going to, like, climb down. They're probably going to spend the night in the tree. <coughs> Sorry. I got... Oh, I think I got through, like, the first episode without coughing too much, but... I guess no good thing lasts forever. have bones oh what's this we need Tim come on swing your body yep mushrooms Recognize these walls? If only Black Widow was here. Didn't know that Lex could be that nimble. Is this just a thing with women? That they're just incredibly agile? Need Grant. There's a mini kid up there. Can't get to it. Tim? Ah, we need Lex to break the glass. Tim? You okay? Let's throw up. It's all over the place. Okay. Just give me a hand. Wait, Grant, where are you going? Why are you going down? There was like a perfectly easy path yeah, to follow. Okay. Why bother climbing down when... Oh, no. Go. This game... Oh, Grant is falling. Oh! I felt that! Grant hit both his back and his head. He's got Tim. Get down! What? This game? <laughs> well, we're back in the car again. Oh, at least you're out of the tree. Lego. <laughs> it's falling apart. <laughs> Where's the other car? Alan! Dr. Grant! Alan! Grant! Oh. Guess I couldn't find pieces of Gennaro. Ian. Ian. <laughs> he tried flirting with her. Every chance moving him. Please, chances. His back could be broken. Oh, oh, come on, come on, boy, we gotta get out of here. Gotta get out of here now, now, right now. Must go faster. Must go faster. <laughs> yeah, what he said. Damn right. Dang it. Look out! Down! Right, she's gonna charge. That's how you dodge her. Oh, wasn't paying attention to that one. Oh. What's he throwing flares for? Ooh, off ramp. Oh, I got a piece of amber. Wait, do you hear that? That was the Dilophosaur. Uh, was it the Dilophosaur amber? Have that on the tour. It's not over yet. Uh 
Oh. So you can throw flares when her mouth is open. Ah. Looks like if I can do that three times. Come on, baby, smile for me. Open up. Ooh. Down! Ooh. That's not how that happened. Rexy is going to need a cup of coffee after that. <laughs> we will never find the commander that we use. He's covered his tracks far too well. Shutting down the entire system. The only way to wipe out everything that he did. <laughs> He's trying to pose, <laughs> and Sattler is clearly disgusted with him. Man, this is going by very quickly. It's okay. Look, see that? It's on. It worked. The shutdown tripped the circuit breakers. Three minutes, I can have the power back on in the entire park. Just to be safe, I want everybody in the emergency bunker until Mr. Arnold returns and the whole system's up and running again. Having Ned to do was a mistake. <laughs> He's gonna get his. Oh, do I get a level as Nedry? Should have been there by now. And of course he's eating. <laughs> but who's gonna be my second? This game kind of forces. Oh, <laughs> he's already lost his glasses. Oh, uh, nice boy. What do you want? What do you want? You want food? <laughs> That's not nearly, like. <laughs> Back when I was a kid, Nedry's scream practically traumatized me. Oh! Nedry survives. That was a pretty fun level, I gotta admit. <laughs> Tim broke it. Oh, what can we build? <laughs> I swear, this game! Although if an ice cream truck pulled up playing that music... <laughs> you broke it again. Let's build something new. Oh no, the bricks are fading. I guess it's fate. In the Lego world, something can only be built and disassembled twice before the bricks disappear forever. I have no idea how to where to go from here. Mushrooms! Oh, I forgot that I'm not in the level, so I don't have to break everything for the studs. Well, then let's get going. Yep. Tim, being a small character, can go through there. Yep. He's pretty fast for a little guy. Of course, kids are pretty fast. Like, their joints and muscles haven't basically, like, been... Completely worn out after a life after a lifelong beating. We dig 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 a dig dig. Looks like we're going up. 
<coughs> you remember all this parkour from the movie? Grant, going too fast for the kids. What's over here? Blue plants? Okay. Blue, blue Lego studs. You know, for some reason right now, I've got a sweet tooth. I would love a piece of chocolate cake. Ooh, the ma a map. Wonder if I can go back. Like, let's see. That's where we are. Wait a second. How the heck are we that far? This is the T-Rex pen, so... You're basically saying that, like, in two seconds we made all that distance? Because Highwire Stunts takes place somewhere around here, basically. We've still got a long way to go. And where the heck... And the Gallimimus Stampede is supposed to be here. So, are we gonna go that way? <laughs> Me trying to find logic here. Well, gotta keep going. What's that? Hey Lex, you got your ball? I can't target it. You know, right now, I really love the atmosphere of this game, like, the backgrounds. I'm ultimately kind of annoyed because, like, no, like, basically, I kind of wanted a LEGO game where, like, all the background environments are actually made of LEGO instead of being real, and, like, you can only break LEGO stuff, but basically, like, this, this is actually, like, really beautiful and nice to look at, and because, like, it's nighttime, it actually comes off as pretty spooky. Hey Lex, you're up. Ding! Oh. Guess we go down here? Nope, because Grant's still afraid of the dark. My childhood hero, everybody. <coughs> so sorry about that. I'm gonna try to keep that to a minimum. Man, I better book it. Like, this is taking, like, this transition between levels is longer than I thought. But I think we are finally there. Gonna cross over. I am the Lord of the Harvest. Yep, there's the level. Dive in. Wanna learn something new? I bet I already know it. One of the most unusual features of the Dilophosaurus are a pair of crests in its skull. It is from a feature that it gets its name, which means two crested lizard. Yep, knew it. Ooh, the Gallimimus Stimpy. Look at that rise there. there. Just. Just keep. Keep. They're flocking this way. Wait, I'm just now realizing she didn't get sneezed on by the Brachiosaur. So I guess that means they basically had it for like the Triceratops just to get it out of the way. Run! Although I have to say, like, I'm kind of disappointed with like, uh, Tim's, uh, dirty the uh, character design. I mean, his jacket seems far too blue in my opinion. Basically speaking, he was practically submerged in mud, and he didn't get to wash off like Lex did, so his coat should be incredibly brown.
Losing a frame right there. Oh, yes, I got the sign. Man, I am beasting it over these logs, aren't I? There's the Rex. It's coming. No, 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 no! Oh, I missed the sign. We gotta find a place to hide. Dang it. <coughs> Under there. <laughs> Look at how they crawl. <laughs> Where's the Rex? It's behind them?! It's got a turkey?! <laughs> it's looking right at them. <laughs> Follow me. Tim! <laughs> I'm gonna go get the power back on. You can't just stroll down the road. You know? But it's just a delay. All the major theme parks have delays. When they opened Disneyland in 1956. I think I can follow this and <laughs> then talk you through it. Come on, let's go. Nothing worked. Yeah, but John, if the parts of the Caribbean breaks down, the pirates don't eat the tourists. I'm glad they skipped that stupid sexism line. A hot dog. Come on this way. They should have used the music. Cause that's seriously one of my favorite parts of the movie when you realize that the get the the raptor pen. Mr. Arnold. <laughs> Mr. Arnold. John. Mr. Arnold. John, I'm in. Right. Ahead of you is a metal staircase. Go down it. Okay, I'm going down. After 20 or 30 feet, you come to a T-junction. <laughs> I just had a Just take a left. What's over here? Ooh. Amber! B. Oh. Yeah. The rap. I think that was the raptor Amber. Whoo! <laughs> Good lucky break for me. So take a left. It's down here. There's bones back there, but I can't open this. Wonder who can. This is gonna involve me breaking a lot of stuff. Like, look how dark it is in here. Really creepy. I love it. Dead. Oh, that was scary. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, uh, yes, there should have been a right turn back to someone. Ellie, oh, uh, look above you. There should be a large bundle of cable and, uh, pipes all heading the same direction. Follow that. Well, there's claw marks on the wall. <laughs> What the hell was that? It's a key. No. Much more better. It is a drawing of a key. Wait, this is the actual dead end from the movie. <laughs> that yellow pipe that she comes to. Muldoon, pick up the key. No, 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 get it! Oh, that's it. <laughs> Gonna take a drink real quick. Well, for such a cutesy game, they know how to build atmosphere. I 
I don't even need to... I don't even need to quote the movie, do I? <laughs> it's just, I love quoting it so much! Wait a minute... Uh, just ventilated steam, but that's actually clever, like, the ventilated steam kind of vaguely resembles raptor hissing. We'd need Joffrey for this. Right, Muldoon? Take aim. Oh. Oh, there was something... There was something from that T-Rex level that we just did that I thought that I could do with Lex, but I forgot to do it. I'll just have to do it again in free play. I hear them. <clears throat> oh! Steam! But it'll hold it off for a little bit. Muldoon. I swear, you guys, you and computers nowadays are so incompetent. You can't be left alone for even the slightest bit. You know, I really hope that Mr. Hammond doesn't mind that we're basically destroying all this expensive equipment. Let's release that pressure. Get up off of that thing! You've got the light. Take the lead. Okay, going down. Putting things out of order. Just like huge. I SAW THAT! <sighs> that was creepy. You know, it's kind of ironic, considering how different the book is to the actual movie. Ugh. Like, Ellie was actually one of the characters that didn't get to go to the maintenance shed to try and turn the power back on. Instead, she was busy distracting the raptors so that Grant could make the trip. I hear him. Didn't even know that that was shit. <laughs> was there anything in there worth grabbing? Nope. Just stuck your hand in there for posterity's sake? Ooh! But we need Tim. Anyways, it starts out with Mr. Arnold going there to try and turn the power back on, but because it's so dark in there without power, he can't see, so he props the door open with his shoe, and one of the raptors promptly follows him inside, s sniffing the shoe. <laughs> it kills him, of course, but then, of all people, Gennaro tries to do it. Yeah, Donald Gennaro actually... Is this high voltage? Yeah. He actually survives the, not just his encounter with the, he doesn't die the way he does in the movie, he actually survives the entire book. <laughs> and he actually has a quote-unquote fight with a velociraptor, but it's really more like he manages to overpower the raptor once and escape its attacking, but, ooh. I hear something. Eddie. You can't throw the main switch by hand. Hey, you can't throw the main switch by hand. Yeah, what he said. You've got to pump up the primer handle in order to get the charge. It's large, flat, and gray. Or do I get to actually prime? Do I actually get to prime the primer handle? Okay. One, two, three, 
Four. Now into the world's contact position. There's a round green button. It says push to close. What was he doing back there? What? Oh, Mr. Arnold. What? What the? I I don't get it. What? Okay, is Arnold dead or isn't he? I saw him moving. So why is he? Is he just scared stiff? What? What the hell? We can't. Because we're being hunted. All right, we're out in the open. We're out in the jungle now. It's time to follow the man with the gun. Where am I shooting anyway? I didn't know. Didn't know you could punch these things. Wait, is that a dart? Am I shooting darts? I'm supposed to have a SPAS-12 shotgun. Well, Dune is not the type of character that would use darts on these animals. He knows that... <coughs> Although that's an interesting fact. Why didn't they ever try to... use Moro-7 on the raptors in the novel? Now I'm gonna wait. Get closer to it. I bet this is gonna be a watering plant. It's gonna take us all the way back here. You're up, settler. I gotta love some of the dialogue exchanges, like from the novel with uh, Sattler and Muldoon, when she's trying to distract the raptors. They're down by, like, the uh, fence to the visitor center lodge, trying to get the raptor's attention. And Muldoon's like, that's no good. You gotta make a noise. Come and get it! Dinner is served! <laughs> it's clear that Ellie doesn't really care all that much for Muldoon in the novel. But I think that he's funny. And she's actually pretty bold, like, uh, she realizes that the raptors aren't going to be duped coming towards them if they're make if they're just making noise, so... It's out there. So she actually opens the gate and walks out. And Muldoon's like, Damn it, girl! Don't do that! And she's like, don't call me girl. I'll call you anything I damn want. I know these animals. You're drunk. <laughs> That's the thing about Muldoon. It's like he occasionally takes a sip of whiskey from his flask. <laughs> You're drunk. <laughs> it's up ahead. Something that I didn't comment on before is the fact that the characters get visibly nervous, but it's not their default setting. Like, this right here is like their default... Like, when they're in a dangerous situation, they, they change to actually be tense. Alright. I'll go first. And the bush is straight ahead. And the bush is straight ahead. It's alright. There's a rabbit. I've got her. Oh, just a rock. <laughs> Whoa! Ugh. Smacked it on the face. Poor! Holy! Muldoon just actually fought off a raptor. There it goes. Or was that a trick? This looks like something else, something bigger. <laughs> Incredible. Muldoon actually just survived a raptor attack and punched it in the face before drop kicking it. In the comics, he's basically known for, like, snapping a man's neck, but... <laughs> now, he's basically known for, like, fighting off... Drop kicking a raptor. Mr. Muldoon drop kick a... Wait, Robert, drop kick a raptor Muldoon. <laughs> Way to go, Mr. Game Warden.
Uh, this is your area of expertise. There. Two out of four. Again? Is that a bird's nest? Are those Easter eggs? Yep. But they're Lego pieces. I love it. Wait, those look more like eight balls or billiard balls, whatever. It's right there. Oh! It decoyed me! It's bit his arm! Slap the nose. Hold off the jaws. <clears throat> but that's another thing, like... Raptors don't attack like that. This is also, like, reminding me of, like, a conversation that Ian Malcolm had from the Lost World novel when he goes to, uh, supervise a museum. Ooh, I found a... Bone box, a mini kit. He goes to a museum to basically supervise a new raptor display, and the guy who modeled like the basically like the display raptor has it standing like flat footed, and Malcolm's like, No menace. Raptors never stood flat footed like that. They have their they raised one leg to use their claws, to use the sickle claw on their toe. They never attacked with their jaws. And that's basically what this raptor was doing, so if this were a real raptor, Muldoon literally would be dead the moment the raptor, like, pounced on him, because, like, it would just slice him open like Grant said it would. Ooh, slide! What's this? Oh! It was a trap! Get away! And I think that's happened enough times to where it's not scary anymore. Oh, I get it. You have to throw rocks at him. Got her! Because, God forbid, you'd just be able to shoot them. Why well, isn't it targeting? I can't throw anymore. Oh god, I really hope that I'm not stuck here. I really hope this isn't a game glitch. Maybe if I change characters, that sometimes helps. No? Come on out and fight! I'm finally back. A error happened with the game to where, because I picked up the rock prematurely, I w the before the targets came up, they never did come up. So now I gotta fight off the raptor. Gotcha. I got. Seems pretty simple enough, but I'd rather shoot her. But. That would be violent, and kids can't handle violence in video games, right? Go! Now! Psh, psh. Run. Got her. 
This is it. Can't wait to see how they louse it up. <laughs> Sausage. Modifications? Not bad, Mr. Game Warden. What the? What? What? Completely neutered. So Muldoon is dead, right? So that's Gennaro and Muldoon that are dead. I have no... Right, but like always, that like took way longer than I thought, and we gotta keep this down to like succinct hour long episodes. Two levels per episode seems pretty good, so I'm gonna cut it off right here. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for joining me on this playthrough of Lego Jurassic World, and we've still got a long way to go. We're not even done with Lego Jurassic Park yet, so if you like this video, please just smash that subscribe button like a Tyrannosaurus Rex, and ring that little bell to become part of the notification squad. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next video. Later!